All right, it's got no rushes, surrender versus shoot versus do nothing. What'd you guys do, by the way? Comment down below. Let's get into the video. All right, let's go, man. Now, listen, I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen the no rush submission. The Russian delegation suffered massive casualties when they came under fire. An estimated 158 deaths at the Castovian base, with more than 200 injured. Bro, we got a teddy bear and, and his thing. Yeah, go back, buddy. The Kremlin blames Kazakhstan for what they call a brutal and unjustifiable attack. They are asking world leaders to join them in denouncing the ULF as a terrorist organization. A little piece of scrap metal, you know. I work at the junkyard. Kazakhstan has been a terrorist hotspot for years. Yet what has been Look at this menace. Absolutely nothing. It's clear the ULF remains at large, and for all we know, they have weapons in striking distance of Moscow. How do we know Boarding. we're safe? Uh oh. GG's. It's done! Look at this. Uh oh, no Russian. He got the ticks. Mm. Let me turn it up. Keep her lift. Oh, what a menace. Bro, imagine you imagine you sitting there, bro, and a dude is telling you everything like about your life. Imagine. Imagine sitting right there, bro, and he pull out that. They did this so they can put the blame on somebody. Yeah, get up. Take down. Hurt. Now, now, now she got a gun. Now, now everybody looking at her crazy. Now everybody looking at her crazy, because guess what? She has a gun now. So is it that you take him down? Yep, or or, yep, or you grab him. Or he grabs you. No, 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 please, there are more. Yep, yep, yep. Nah, 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 bro. Imagine you in this situation. Yep. Flash bang. They not playing. And like I told y'all, they can't show this. Because we all, it's, it's 2023, y'all. They can't show this brutal stuff, y'all. They can't do that. Now, I think this is like if you take down, boom, you grab the gun. It's... Okay, so you can't shoot the girl. So I wonder if the guy. Ooh. I'm gonna say that. So the air marshal is still shooting at you. 
dang, you get hit with a flashbang? And then you get hit with a Floyd Mayweather right. So you can still get up and try to shoot the guys, it doesn't matter, because you get flashbang. Dang, man, that's ridiculous. I told you, bro, this Makarov, bro, is so much more calculated. So much more. This is about who you are, Samara. And then they all gonna blame it on her. This? You see that timer? Get this off me, you, you will be a hero for what you're doing here, Samara. No, Look at him, he's a you. menace. I am not a terrorist. No. You're a citizen soldier inspired by Farah Karim to fight Russia. You're a freedom fighter. Yeah, that's what she is. You're Russian. This plane is full of Russians. How could you kill your own people? To start a war to blame it on you, baby. Use your brain. You are. Yeah, you're killing them, not me. Eight thousand feet above, yep. Leave no trace. Yep. They gonna jump out the plane. Walked in. You've been that only sick bastard. We can stop Let me go to the other half of the plane. No. Yep. Yep. Go fetch. Now everybody gonna look at you. Oh Lord. You got no ammo. It's over. Raps. Oh my God. Yep. Yep. Every now everybody looking at you. Give me the phone, girl. Give me the phone. Ridiculous. You terrorist. And then gonna turn around and ask am I am I a terrorist? And then gave me a gun with no bullets. Are you serious? Go get it. Go bitch. Now everybody looking at her like she the villain. Ah, here's what I listen. We have to defeat the bomb. It's too late, it's over. People are still jumping on you. Yeah, it's over. GG's. She over there trying to spam. <laughs> it's not funny. It's actually sad. But she over there trying to. She's like, huh? Phone? It's not stopping. Oh, it's, it's not meant for you to stop. Yeah, it's not meant for you to stop. Here's what I'll say about this, right? The no rushing mission, right? This one? is way more creative than the last one i would say that i would still take the last no russian mission over this one but i'm not mad how they did this bro because this is way more creative like way more this is something because we we all thought that you know everybody was about to get lit up on a plane i mean technically like half of the plane got lit up and the other half got blown up by a bomb so like i guess I, I mean, let's just w the whole plane died. Let's just say that I, I like let's not forget that this plane blew up in the air Okay, I mean It's either we caused mass destruction by sending four goonies in a in a psychopath in a airport and light everybody up with machine guns or we put it or, 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 or we blame somebody else and we put a bomb on somebody and then we forced them into a room and then everybody jumps on that person that has the bomb because they think that she's trying to blow everything up. So everybody's going to get mad at her while she's trying to save everybody by getting the phone. It's ridiculous. So, I mean, they're both bad. 
Um, I mean, it is a no Russian mission, so obviously there is like you know just, just like civilian ca uh, casualties like getting destroyed. It is what it is. It's a no Russian mission. I expect that you know I expected some type of destruction, um, but I definitely would say that this is the more creative side of the no Russian mission than just full just brutality. I mean, this one was brutality, but like let's be honest. And I, th and I you know what? I think that it's just shock value. You know, when we were younger. We never seen four to five dudes walk into an airport and shoot people up. I hope people like, I mean, unless you watch movies or something like that, bro, back then, nobody ever saw that. And we were all kids back then, you know? And so when we, the first time we saw that, it, it really shocked us because we, again, we never seen nothing like that before. So like, we were just, we were like stun locked. Like, bro, we were just like, just like, we didn't know what to do. Like, we were just like looking at this just weird. That was like the first time we ever seen that. But now, you know, as you grow up, you know, you've seen like you, you, you see all like brutal scenes and stuff in, in movies and in uh, and video games and stuff like that. So at the end of the day, I guess stuff like this, like this is like something out of a movie. This is like something that can this is like an actual scene out of a movie that no Russian mission thing uh, like 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 10 years ago. You can see that in a movie, but, like, that's very rare. This is more of, like, a movie approach to it. And I respect both ends. I respect, like, both, like, you know, no Russian missions, stuff like that. Um, but, obviously, you know, people have their own picks. I'm not mad at people picking the old one over this one. I mean, like, that's just what you like. I mean, I'm not, I'm not going to... I, I still pick the old one over this one. And I, like, and I still like this one. So, comment down below if you guys like the no Russian mission or not. Um, other than that, see you guys later for the next one. I'm out. And...